sure why I decided this is the best option, but I have. I think before I was worried it was gonna fall off, but now I've got it taped on. Nice and uh, nice and tight, I think. Um, so, uh, for those of you, which is probably not very many, that will watch this um, before the final four and then the final four, um, who aren't following me elsewhere. Well, I guess you could have just, you could be following me and not have seen it. Um, I am selling two Final Four tickets, uh, $800 a piece. Um, that's what I paid for them, actually. I think uh, $7.99 is actually what I paid for them. So uh, if you want to save a couple bucks, I guess I can uh, give them to you for $7.99 a piece. Um, <clears throat> those are in section 138. Um, and uh, seats 44 and 45. Just not the right. There we are. Uh, I don't remember the row. Uh, I believe it was in the 30s. That's on my Facebook. Uh, Douglas AWH is the Facebook. Uh, you can email me if you want details or just leave a comment um, or you can Facebook me. Any, any of those options work. Um, email is Doug at Blocksonic.com. And that is an unplanned segue into the other thing that's happening that I would like to talk to you today about. April 13th, that is a Saturday. It's record store day. Um, Block Sonic has the first vinyl going out, a thousand copies of Chuck Mosley's um, last recordings. It's a seven inch, two tracks. Um, he died in 2017. Um, and actually one of the tracks um, is missing a car solo because um, he, he passed before. Um, he was able to record it. Um, if, you're, if you're not familiar with the name, um, Chuck Mosley was the lead singer before uh, Mike Patton um, and Faith No More. So the original lead singer, I believe. And um, he was also the lead singer in the 90s for uh, Bad Brains, the DC hardcore slash reggae band. Um, and now that I'm, uh, well, you might not have been able to hear me very well in the stairway, I guess, but uh, now that I'm out here banging around the, uh, the uh, rack on the back of the bike and such, I'm probably not going to be able to hear me very well. Buses, etc. Um, it is quite chilly on the bike actually, um, but uh, lack of head wrap means that my uh, hair is not too colossally crazy when I get into work. It's fine, it's just warm enough. I mean, it's short too. Of course, if it was long, yeah, I think if it was longer, I'd probably put on a head wrap. Uh, that's what it is. Uh, so there's some uh, target field. Uh, there, a uh, little announcement. So there's some free promo for that. Uh, I think it's a Butler in NDSU. So this particular time. I don't know when that, see I was going to say, I don't know when that uh, train symbol got there. So it goes green right after the train symbol, which is silly because I mean, people can can turn right and there's a train coming, but I guess they're, it's going red before the train, but it's just like, 
We should fucking stay uh, like the green that whole time. Or not green, they should stay. Uh, the train symbol should stay up, I think. Um, I don't know. I guess they've worked it down to the science. But I'm never sure which train is, uh, you know, if it's going to target field or away from target field. But, yeah. Looks like there's another one coming pretty soon. This is one place in the winter when I have a fat bike, I can just hop over there onto that curb. Um, so, assuming I don't destroy the, uh, <laughs> The GoPro before then, you guys can see that. I think, uh, actually, you did see it once. Um, and, uh, I was on the fat bike. Uh, look at the early recordings. I don't know what day that would have been exactly, but remember there was a GMC or some sort of SUV. I think it was, maybe it was a Cadillac. And, uh, it was coming by there. And, uh, I was able to hop on after it. Which, I don't normally hop on this bike, so I doubt that was it. But, we'll see. Yeah, so I'm being more efficient with my time on the uh, video, I think. Because <laughs> I can turn that off as I walk. 